this episode, I'm going to teach you how to use some different shortcuts and some kind of hidden things in Excel that you may not have known before. And this could make you a little bit more efficient as you're using the software. One of the first things we're going to do is show you some different ways to add dates to Excel that are easier than just typing it in. So here on our Star Wars Buddies spreadsheet, we're going to type in the date. I'm going to move it over to the right. And then say the date we want in here, we could very easily just type in 1, 9, 13, and it'd give us a date. But if we want to actually just put the date in quickly, you just hit Control and then colon. And then right there, Excel added the date and also the time for you. And then as you know, you can come up and come to formatting change it to the short date and get back the actual date you want. That's a way Excel can add the date quickly for you. And if you click that cell, you can see that it's not a formula, it's actually today's date. So this won't change on a day-to-day -day basis. Now, say you want to add the time right next to it. To add the time, all you have to do is click Control, Shift, colon, and as you can see, the time gets added right into the cell. And then you click on it and you can see that the time is right there in the text bar. Moving on, Excel also has a formula for giving you the date and the time right now. The problem with it, and it's not really a problem, there are times where it can be helpful, say for invoicing or purchase orders or whatever you're creating, there is a shortcut, shortcut called now or formula called now. All you, to do it, hit the equal sign, type in now, just N-O-W, and then hit the parentheses, click enter, and as you can see, the time gets entered into that cell, and it gives you the time and uh, the date in the time is in military format. You can come up to the formatting bar and click that to short date, and it'll give you the date. You could even change it beyond that. Now, the problem with this one is when you click on that cell and you go up to the top to look, it doesn't actually show you the date, it shows you the formula. So if you were to come back tomorrow on this spreadsheet, it wouldn't say 1-9 anymore, it'd say 1-10. So you just have to be careful. Don't just know when you use it, it will change dynamically on a day-to-day -day basis. And also if you keep the time in there, the time will also change. So it's very good for invoices and things like that where you want the date to change, but it, uh, it's not good if you want to keep a record of something or you want to know the date that you typed it in. So uh, those are some shortcuts for the date. Uh, moving on, say that you want to edit the cell. There's a few different ways to do it. Want to, say we wanted to edit this time cell. You could double click it and that will open up Hit escape to get back. You could also come up top here and edit it on the formula bar. And the other way is once you've clicked a cell, you can select F2. And that will also do the same thing. Just three ways of essentially doing the same, uh, the same action. Now, if you're ever wanting to paste the same content into multiple cells, Excel gives a nice, easy way to do that. Say you wanted to fill up a table with default values, all you have to do is say you wanted this table to equal 200, or for each cell in it to equal 200, all you have to do is select that one data point you want, hit copy, then come over to a group of other cells, highlight all of them, and then hit Control V, and as you can see, it's pasted each of those in there. And that's, once again, that's not a formula. It's actually pasted those in. That's a good way of copying quite a bit of data or a small amount of data into quite a bit of space. And if you're ever trying to fill up a spreadsheet, it's a good, faster way of doing it as opposed to going one by one or by columns. Now, another thing that Excel is great at is being able to work with dates. Uh, say you wanted to create five or seven days right here, instead of having to go 110, 13, and then 111, 13, and go all the way down the line, if you select that one cell that's a date, 
and you come down here to this little box in the bottom right hand corner, you select it, and then simply drag it for however long you want. So say we wanted seven days. You can see Excel knows that we want it to be the 9th, 10th, 11th, 12th, 13th, 14th, and 15th. So it automatically calculated that. And as you can see, if you click on it, each one of these in the formula bar is actually that text. So it's very good about knowing that. It also does the same thing for the days of the week. So say we wanted to create a small calendar that went Monday through Sunday. You select it and you can drag it down or up or to the sides. We'll go to the side. And as you can see, Excel has auto populated that Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, all the way through. So, and there's one other item where it can do it, and that's in months. So say you wanted to do January through December, click on that and drag it all the way. And you can see you now have populated the entire year in months without having to type in anything except that first month. So that's just a, a few more shortcuts Excel does that make life a little bit easier for you. The next one we're going to look at is being able to highlight multiple cells that aren't adjacent to each other. They're not right next to each other. So coming up here to our uh, Star Wars Buddies spreadsheet, say that we wanted to get rid of a few random cells and we wanted to remove that data. Instead of doing it one at a time, if you hold down the control bar, or the control button, you can select all the cells you want and then say you wanted to delete them, you just click on the delete button and now all of them are gone. And it's just a lot faster than having to go at it one at a time. Now a few shortcuts for highlighting, you can highlight an entire column instead of coming up and having to click on that column. As long as you're just in the cell, all you have to do is click control space and you have instantly highlighted that entire column. If you're wanting to select purely just one row or one entire row, like we'll do with row 12 here, just click on shift and space and that automatically selects that entire row. There's another shortcut. Say you wanted to grab an entire table worth of data. You click on that table, any cell in the table, click control shift space, and it automatically selects each of those. But you notice it doesn't select the header. So that makes it really nice if you're dealing with something that has thousands of rows in it and you need to copy that data, it's a little bit of a faster way to go and do that. Now to hide rows and to hide columns, all you have to do is select one spot, one column, and click Control-0. We'll do it for September. And now look and see, it goes from August to October and skip September. Hit Control-Z to get it back. And say we wanted to do it to a row. We wanted to get rid of this Darth row right here. Hit Control-9, and that entire row is gone. You can hit Control-Z to get it back. The other way you can get it back is by selecting both rows that surround it. Right click and then simply come down to unhide and that will bring it back. There's just a couple more shortcuts that we're going to show you. The next one is going to show you how to duplicate cells. So you can copy and paste them, but if you want to do it a little bit more efficiently, Select all the data you want. So say that we wanted to collect all of this data right here. In there, if we simply clicked on that box and drug it over here, it would get rid of all of the data from that table. Say we didn't want to do that, we wanted to copy it. All you have to do is click Control, come right back to that corner of the box, drag it down to the same spot, and as you can see, it hasn't replaced or it hasn't got rid of the data, it's duplicated it and it's moved it over here.
hit control Z or undo to get it back and we'll use the last one the last one is say you have a table of data just like we have right here and you want to see all the formulas simultaneously because we have quite a few each one of the rows has a sum formula we have a subtotal formula here and several formulas all the way going down and we want to analyze all of them simultaneously instead of having to go one by one if you click control and then in there's a little squiggly line up in the top of your keyboard uh, top left hand side of the keyboard hit control and then you click on that squiggly line you'll see that it automatically shows you each one of those formulas all the way for each of the rows the subtotal the sum so all the way down for all the columns and it shows you that instantly it also even breaks down the now and the exact time formula and now to get your old view back that doesn't show the formulas you just do the same thing you hit control and that squiggly line and you're back to where you started thank you for spending the time and reviewing each of these shortcuts like I said at the beginning if you go to the website edutectional.com you'll be able to go to the Excel lesson plans and I have each of these written down for you for quick and easy reference along with each of the other lessons we have from beginning to advanced uh, tutorials on how to master Excel thanks so much